Hi, Leo. Welcome to your bonus reading for April. This is Mary. This is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. So, Leo, we're going to take a look at a little bit of love, a little bit of life, more a little bit of a general overview, and then we'll do some advice, messages, guidance from spirit. And this is sort of like a little look at everything, a little bonus. My intention with this is if some of your monthly readings didn't resonate for you, then maybe something here will or it could be extra messages for you. So please only take it how it resonates for you. Everything may not be for you, so please keep that in mind. Could be past, present, or future. Uh, interchangeable energies, however that resonates for you. And don't try to make it fit if it's not your reading. And everything you need to know, Leo, is down below in the description box. A lot of stuff down there, so please feel free to check that out. And if you do, thank you. And feel free, if you're new, to check out my channel. Subscribe if you would like to and hit the bell so you don't miss out. And uh, get about five readings a month. So and if you do, thank you. All right. So Leo, let's see what's going on with Leo and love. Let's see what's going on with Leo and love with this bonus reading. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. What's going on with Leo? In love for this bonus reading. Our Lady who prevents interference. Number 22. Two is about unity, and we got double unity here, so it's double confirmation. And then we have 22, which is four, which is about stability. And this is about the universe not letting anything interfere with something in your love life here. So this is the Mother Mary deck. So this is Mother Mary saying... I will not let anything interfere with something in your love life. So when we get into the tarot, we're just going to pull a few tarot cards here and we'll see what's going on with that. And on the bottom of the deck here, we have Our Lady of the Dark Mysteries. And we have six, which is healing and balance. So there may be something dark and mysterious around a connection with somebody. Um, maybe you don't fully know everything about this person yet. Uh, maybe they haven't revealed a lot of things to you yet. Could be a new connection. Um, but the universe here is saying that they're not going, going to let what is meant to be let anything interfere. So if there's anything trying to interfere, somebody, and I'm getting dark mystery, somebody maybe who has ill intentions or is really trying to interfere, try to prevent this um connection from happening. I think the universe here definitely is not going to let that happen. So different kind of stories, a few different stories there. So it could be all of the above. So how about that resonates for you? All right. So we'll see. So this is the life portion. So it's more of a general overview, but we could get anything here. So what messages do we have for Leo for this bonus reading? What messages do we have for Leo for this bonus reading for life for life for Leo? What do we have this bonus reading for Leo and life? Feeling that one. And we have self esteem, confidence, self love, self worth, and pride. And 21 is three. It's about community, social. Uh, you know, social activities, community, working together kind of energy also, even though, you know, a lot of us, there's no community right now. But um, it's telling you here to have self-confidence, self-love, self-worth, pride, knowing your value, your worth, having self-esteem for something here. And then we have intelligence, education, knowledge, perception, flexibility, 45, which is nine. Nine is about coming to a completion just about coming up to a completion of something here. If some of you have been thinking about uh, returning back to school or learning something new or just increasing your knowledge on something, uh, it's telling you here to uh, broaden your horizons, I think. As you see like the horizon energy here, that you can do it. Maybe you have low self-esteem thinking you can't do it or you won't be able to do it, or you're not worthy enough to do it, and this is telling you, I think, yes, you are. All right, so let's get messages from the universe, guidance, 
advice for you, Leo? What kind of advice does the universe, the spirit have for you at this time? Woo! <laughs> for Leo. Okay, I think that's telling me just one more shuffle. All right. What is the messages? What are the messages for Leo? What's the guidance, the advice? Messages from the universe and spirit. Okay, for that one definitely. <coughs> Choking on your incense. Reflect on your truth. So this is being true to who you are. Being honest with yourself. All right. And we have count your blessings. So Spirit wants you to know whatever struggles you're going through, whatever you've been through in life or this month or the past few months is count the blessings that you do have in your life. In your life. And it may be reflecting on that. You know, reflect on those blessings. And reflect on your truth. So standing in your truth, standing true to who you are. All right. So let's see for Leo. Let's pull up some tarot here on love. What is this dark mysteries and interference about for Leo? Spirit, please get some tarot on that. For Leo, for this bonus reading at this time. What is this dark mysteries and interference about for Leo? We have the Six of Pentacles in we have six Our Lady of Dark Mysteries. So there's some sort of balance here. So if someone's been mysterious to you, they haven't been totally upfront with you, or there's been a lack of communication, there may be some uh, equal rest, uh, reciprocation here, maybe uh, equal give and take here. Someone finally balancing out the scales, being equal give and take in something here. So what else for Leo for this Dark Mysteries? I'm feeling all of these. So we have the Four of Wands. This is my Twin Flame card. My Soulmate Twin Flame card. We have the Queen of Swords. King or Queen. So you can be male or female watching this. So somebody here, King or Queen, could finally be standing in truth and clarity about a Soulmate Twin Flame connection and ready to give equally. Wow. <laughs> and the Queen of Swords... King, Queen, Swords, Ace always to me is about like divine intervention. Also shedding light on a situation. So it could be somebody had an awakening or, or, you know, finally the universe showed somebody here. Okay, this is a twin flame connection. It's time to give equally. Maybe this was a mystery to this person, this connection. And now they finally get it. And now the universe, because here's uh, Mother Mary saying like the universe will prevent any kind of interference. And here's also the universal energy of the Queen of Swords here, shedding truth and clarity on this. Wow, what do we have here? So now we have the Queen of Pentacles. So we have two queens, king or queen. Some of you could be um, same-sex relationship, or this is <clears throat> somebody here having truth and clarity, and the other one really standing in their value, their worth. Uh, knowing who they are, somebody now ready to give an offer of some kind, ready now to give equally to this connection. Two of Wands being at a crossroads. If somebody was at a crossroads for a while here, not sure what to do, what path to go down, what choice to make. The Hangman, gaining new perspectives, enlightening energy, was paused and still here for a while. There was no movement. Because somebody was at a crossroads here, whether it was you or them, on what to do with this connection. But while we, there was a pause, there was stagnancy, no movement. Somebody, you know, their head finally is enlightened here with truth and clarity from the universe. Finally getting it here and becoming enlightened. And now, with the Queen of Pentacles energy here, finally ready, I think, to make an offer to somebody of some kind. Could be slow, stable secure grounded energy but it's long term maybe slow moving but it's practical maybe small but it's ready now to uh move forward wow at the bottom of the deck we got the king of pentacles so we have a matching couple here and the star for healing divinely guided energy fate destiny divine timing um wishes and dreams coming true 
healing energy. So there's been healing, wishes and dreams are coming true. And we have a divine couple here and they're looking at each other. You see that? They're looking at each other here. They know they're an equal match. They're stable, the grounded, secure. Wow. It's not a mystery I feel anymore to this person what kind of connection this is. We have a divine soulmate twin flame match here. Wow. All right. So what is this intelligence and self-esteem about for Leo? Mm, we've got a lot of cards here. I think I'm going to take these two. So we have the Queen of Cups and we have the Five of Pentacles. So the Five of Pentacles can talk about monetary lack or feeling lack in some way. And it could be the self-esteem here that we, you know, I was just talking about. But now Queen of Cups, energy of loving on yourself, having self-love, value, worth, um, peace, harmony, compassionate kind of energy. Having that self-love. Nine, wounded warrior here, been through a str struggle, b battle, and a fight. And it could be why we have low self-esteem. So whatever struggles you've been through uh, in relationships, work, career, finance, whatever here, uh, maybe made you have low self-esteem, low confidence, some way, shape, or form. But now the Queen of Cups right in the middle, it's like finally, you know, loving on yourself now, finally realizing that. High priestess, so listening to you, got your intuition, a higher knowing. Maybe not, you know, telling a lot of people the struggles you've been through, um, the loss you might have had, whether it was monetary or emotionally or whatever here, kind of keeping it to yourself kind of energy. But, okay, what else? The tower. So epiphany, aha moment, breakdown, shake up. Uh, surprise doesn't necessarily have to be anything bad and the page of swords so again this could be this intelligence learning something new maybe online in some way shape or form could be you know can be an energy of spying on some something but I'm not getting that could be open honest truthful communication cutting away things no longer serving you all that kind of energy So we got another five at the bottom for the five of cups again for sadness loss and sorrow and the hermit about doing that deep introspection and reflection so i feel like some here may have had an epiphany and aha moment gee i need to make a change here you know like in a poor poor pitiful me kind of energy and finally with the page of swords energy um in the tower like kind of realizing okay uh i need to change this maybe divinely guided kind of energy here spiritual connection with the high priestess it's saying you know i've been through a lot i've been through a struggle but i can overcome this finally realizing having that self-esteem value worth and doing the hard work and putting in the labor here to change things here career work finance whatever it is for you so making a change could be learning again learning with the page of swords learning something online to better yourself yeah because the emperor just flew out emperor empress so standing in your power taking control being a leader a boss a ceo or something like that an entrepreneur kind of energy taking control here wow okay so what is what is count your blessings and reflect on your truth for leo for leo for leo we have the six of wands, so success, victory, accomplishment, uh, getting, you know, accolades, that kind of attention. So we have the Hierophant. So this is about being dedicated. It's faith, spirituality, religion, uh, institutions such as, you know, schooling and education and that kind of energy. Government, law, all that kind of energy, doing what's moral, just and right, value being committed also so being com committed to this journey whatever it is for you will bring you success here and i feel like that's kind of like the truth of it so count your blessings and count blessings coming your way king of swords so what did i tell you about the king queen of swords another matching couple so some definitely here are dealing with the soulmate twin flame energy but also divine energy for me Shedding truth and clarity on the situation. 
Also having truth and clarity, open, honest communication, standing up for yourself, not taking any BS, cutting away from no one who's serving you. So we have the seven of wands, so standing up, fighting for what you believe in. And the four of pentacles, holding on to your stability and what you have, your foundation here. What else? The five of swords energy. So that's kind of like, I'm going to get ahead and I don't care how I do it. Doesn't necessarily always have to be in a bad way, but be mindful of that energy that you don't over in overdo it and get too caught up in your head and um, ego kind of energy. You can do what you need to do by all means to get ahead, but from a positive energy, not a negative energy. So watch that energy. But definitely standing up for what you believe in here, defending it. But while my, maintaining your stability and your foundation here, but staying committed to the journey with truth and clarity but gaining and having success. So in the page of one, so this could be a new offer coming in, something exciting. Um, it could be passionate communication here. Also it could be a new um, a love interest. It could be a new job. It could be something here, very exciting here. It could be reuniting with somebody here with the three of cups energy. And then coming into soulmate union with the two of cups energy. So you could be getting a message. Hey, let's get together and having soulmate union because somebody definitely here feels, okay, I do have love for this person kind of energy. So that's what I have for you, Leo. Wow. A lot of energies just for a bonus reading. So best of luck to you. Send you many light, love and blessings. I feel like somebody knows now what they want and you may be receiving a message here about how they truly feel. Let's get together. I mean, when we can and have a soulmate union here. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Leo sending you many light, love and blessings. And as I always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.